Okay, we are back working on our tricky task number two. As you can see, we have our board filled up from tricky task number one previously. What I'm going to do is uh, you can either pull all your items off, pull them off to the side, voltmeters, all that good stuff. You can click on them, press delete. Uh, it will delete some of them. So you can delete them one by one. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go press the refresh button. It's going to be out of view right now. Um, I'm going to – actually, I can't do that right now with how I'm recording it. But uh, up at the top, there is the circular object. It has an arrow. It says reload this page. I'm going to click reload. And what it does is it clears everything off. All right, it's going to go blank. It loads back up. Everything pops up. The only thing that you have to do is you have to resize your boxes. So I'm going to move my components off to the side again. Not that big of a deal. Um, oops, I accidentally turned the board off. So I'm going to turn that board back on. Remember our power button? Power button needs to be the line down. I forgot to review that in the... Uh, first tricky task, but hopefully we all remember that. I'm going to make this board a little bit bigger, move my illustration. Now I'm back to square one. So it says create a group of circuits using one 9-volt battery. So I'm going to go grab a battery. I'm going to put it in the middle because I know I'm going to be making multiple things here. I'm going to press 9. I press enter. Make sure it goes through. Three bulbs and three switches. So I'm going to grab three bulbs. Uh, as you can see, I have some cursors that pop up there. It's like a little circular object. There's a little blue dot. That's just so you can see where I'm clicking. Your screen is not going to have those. But the screencast-o-matic that I'm using right now allows me to emphasize where I'm at, what you're looking at. So I have my three bulbs. I'm going to move that a little bit. I'm going to go grab a switch. I'm just going to connect it to the bulb right away. It's not going to hurt anything. So I leave my different switches right there. So I have three bulbs, three switches, and a 9-volt battery. Each bulb must operate on its own switch, and all circuits must share the 9-volt battery. So I go and I grab my bulb wire, hook it up. All right, I'm just going to try it with one of them. Okay, sorry about that. I had a little bit of an interruption when I started to show the video. Pause or not. Mrs. Bungie was uh, having a few questions about our class here coming up. You can see we hooked up our bulb to our 9-volt battery, but problem is that the bulb was not able to handle that much voltage. You can see right here that our bulb blew. I turn it on and off. Blew up. Okay, so I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to go grab a new bulb. I'm going to add this new bulb in there. All right, what I have to do is I can't add any other objects, but what I can do is I can change the resistance of these bulbs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go change my resistance. I'm going to go 5. So I'm going to change it to 5. I press Enter. Okay, this is ohms right here. Ohms is the unit of resistance. So I'm going to change that to 5 ohms. Turn it back on. Blew up again. If I turn it off, go grab another go grab another bulb. Seems kind of redundant to have to keep doing this. I'm going to go um, 8. Enter. Okay, I blew up again, so it's got to be higher than 8. I know in the original activity we did, we, added, we changed one to 8.1. Okay, so I'm going to try 8.1, see if this works. Ah, 8.1 does work, just like it did the other day. So I'm going to go click on this bulb, 8.1, enter. Click on this bulb, 8.1, enter. I'm not going to go hook up all my other bulbs when I don't know what my resistance is yet. So you want to try and think in small little steps. So I'm going to hook up my positive terminal to the bulb, and I'm going to go to the negative terminal, hook it up to the other end of the switch. I'm going to go positive terminal to the bulb, negative terminal to the other end of the switch. Okay, I now have three bulbs, all the same brightness. Even when I turn this one off, these do not get brighter. Right, they all are controlled on their own switch. Here's one loop, here's another loop, here's a third loop. Okay, so let's just say that this one right here, I'm going to go back and change this to 5 ohms. Okay, even if this bulb right here breaks because there's too much voltage, these two other bulbs keep working. And that is the beautiful thing about a parallel circuit is the fact that you can lose one of your bulbs, okay, or a looping circuit we call it. You can have a bulb blow up, okay, like maybe in a set of Christmas lights, and all the rest of them are going to stay on. Whereas on most sets of holiday lights, when one bulb goes, half of the set will go as well. That is the solution for task number two.